What's up everyone? Thank you for tuning in to my channel, Art Walk, and my name's Art. Now walk with me. Today is a special day. Really every day is special because I'm here with another chance to share more reviews of my favorite toys and games and action figures. Whatever brings joy to my heart is what I'll be reviewing. To start things off, I want to thank my family and friends for supporting me and believing in my talent and encouraging me to share with everybody who wants to listen. With that being said, let's review toys. Introducing Has Hasbro 6 inch G.I. Joe classified series Cobra Island Roadblock. I love G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe has been a part of my life ever since I was about 10 years old. So I couldn't pass up the chance to, to share my Joes with you guys. So I hope you enjoy and, and can learn something about the history of my history with G.I. Joe's. First, I wanted to start with a brief bio of um, a roadblock. He's a fictional character from the G.I. Joe, Real American Hero toy line, comic books and animated series. He is the Joe's team heavy machine gunner and, the, and he debuted in 1984. His, uh, his file name's Marvin F. Hinton, which I do feel like they should bring back the uh, file cards because it, it did, it was very helpful when it came to you know using your imagination and also using the information that they gave you to help you know create whatever you wanted to do with with your uh, with your toys. Uh, let's see, Marvin Hinton was was his rank was he had several rankings. It looked like an E4 Corporal, E5 Sergeant, E6 Staff Sergeant, E7 Sergeant First Class from the comic book series. Uh, his primary job, heavy machine gunner. His second primary job was a chef. And his subgroups were Tiger Force, Star Brigade, Night Force, and Anti-Venom Task Force. Roblox is one of the biggest and strongest members of G.I. Joe, able to carry a fully loaded M2 Browning machine gun as a personal weapon. <laughs> um, one, no wonder that's made why his arms are so are so huge. But yeah, he he his arms and his 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 legs are are huge. But you know, Robot Block he was always a, a huge character and you know really big and, and beefy. He could hold his own. So you know, it was it was, it was, it was cool to have him in my collection. And and his Browning gun weighed 134 pounds. That's a lot of weight just to be carrying around as your uh, personal weapon, like a sidearm. That was that's something else. And also, he still maintains his passion for making good food. He wrote several cookbooks that became bestsellers, endorsed a line of cooking products under his name, and briefly hosted his own television cooking show. But when the G.I. Joe team was reinstated, he happily hung up his chef's hat and rejoined the team once again. Okay, let's see. I want to get into to some uh, articulation of, uh, of Roadblock, first off. Again, generally, our men, they have double-jointed double jointed elbows. And it, it get good, pretty good movement and a range. You know, if you put the joints where you need them to be, then you really shouldn't have a problem. You know, again, he's got some huge biceps. Bicep swivel, 360. Uh, he's got a, he's got swivel wrist. Also, it hinges as well, so he can he can uh, grab his hold onto his gun pretty pretty good. Uh, he's got 
He's got a ab uh, crunch. He's got a waist waist swivel. Uh, let's see. He's so he's so big. I'm gonna, I want I'm gonna adjust my camera just a little bit because he is so big, and I want to be able to get him in the shot for you guys. Good. Okay. Um, I like his head scope. It's pretty cool. He's got this, like this communicator on the side of his head, which I think is pretty cool. Sorry about that. Get some light so you guys can see. But his head, it, it's, it swivels all the way around 360. And you can see the hinge when he looks all the way to, the, to, to his left and to his right. But uh, hinge is down. That, that far into his chest, which is pretty pretty cool. Uh, good range of motion, motion looking down, and he can look up, he can look up that much. So and that's good for uh, for Roblox. Uh, let's see, he's got. I like to use these stands when I do my reviews. It helps to give him some more support. But I'm gonna take him off for this re review purpose. And he's got uh, double jointed, double jointed knees which is pretty cool, with more more dynamic poses. And I noticed too that his leg, you know, they have, a, he has the drop down motion, you know, where you can get him again and, and some more, switch switch the poses up a little bit. And that's always helpful when it comes to your, your action figures. You wanna to try to get them in as many poses as you can. It, it just helps with, you know, the creativity of it. Well, you know, you get one or two poses, you get bored, and it goes right back in my tote uh, box. But uh, let's see his back and his his uh, his his gear. It's pretty cool. It's uh, like a, a shirt, and it has the a real American hero emblem on there with some other camouflage. I remember Roblox having a camouflage shirt on, and maybe some brown pants. But you know, it's good that. You know, times have changed, so I feel like us as adult collectors, our toys should change too, you know. Retro is good, but I feel like retro should be left retro, you know. We give our youth, our kids, a chance to have something new, but also it gives us an opportunity to have something to look back on that's old, you know. So, let's see, he's uh, he's got a tattoo on his on his arm too, on his bicep. It looks like to me it's a lion. Or some yeah it's a lion. It's a lion. You can see, let's see. Okay. Alright. And I think the tattoo is pretty cool. Then he's got these black leather gloves to match his boots. He's got these uh, huge shin guards um, uh, on the on the front of his boots which are cool. You know the detail isn't bad. They could have uh, maybe, I'm not gonna complain, but it would have been cool to see some highlights on these straps for the shin guards, just so that it, it would stand out a little bit more. But um, his ankles, he can, he can do down that much, and it can go, let's see, up. And then it has a, a rocker or a, a pivot. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Then um, on his right leg, he's got these uh, grenades, it looks like. Yeah, and again, with the paint highlight, they could have put a little paint just to make them uh, pop, pop out a, a little bit better. But um, uh, he's a pretty good, he's a pretty cool character. You know, I like how, he, how his face looks. It's, you know, real serious and, and determined on, on getting the mission done. He's got this bandana on as well, which the bandana is, it looks pretty, looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Very, very realistic. Uh, that's what I like about the G.I. Joe uh, first line, the first wave. It's the, the figures are very realistic, you know? And, and, and I'm more sh drawn towards the realistic, the realism of, uh, of the G.I. Joe. So yeah, I got the first wave and also I got uh, the second wave. Not all the figures from from uh, Cobra Island, but you know, those, those figures are so hard to get nowadays. But, uh, let's see. His 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 
his accessories. He didn't come with a whole lot of accessories, but I feel like he came with just enough to, um, you know, to compliment who he who he is, what he stood for. You know, again, he's he's a he's a machine gunner, so he comes with this huge blaster. Huge blaster. It's awesome. It's a little bit different from the from the first uh, gun he had. Uh, the magazine comes out, you know, which is it's pretty cool. You know, more realism to it. And I, I've heard, you know, look some complaints about it. I just feel like, again, you know, us as collectors, things are going to change. And I think, you know, in life, things change, and we learn to adapt to them. So I feel like it's a good. Uh, accessory to, to, for uh, for Roblox, you know. Again, this is future, so they should have more futuristic uh, weapons. That's a cool gun. I like it. And uh, let's see. And his other accessory um, were these are these uh, sunglasses, and they're pretty cool. You know, if you 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 don't really like dealing with a lot of accessories with your your figures because they're so small and easy to lose, you know. It's no, no problem, you know, I usually don't take them out the pack or I'll just uh, put it on the figure. I'll have them all geared up, but I'm going to get these glasses on for you guys to see how it pans out for you. And the side of his head, he does have these notches, so you want to kind of line those notches up and to get him the glasses to sit on his face right. And then you just, you can just push them on. I like that. Now he's 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 style he's styling. I, I can I dig that. This figure is really sweet. It has got a lot of flavor and attitude to this to this toy. It is it's really sweet. It's really sweet. And then he's got uh let's see. I wanted to bring Duke out too. So Duke's gonna gonna just have his back and be out here watching him show off. But um. Uh, Overall, I think it's a great figure. The articulation is, is pretty good. You can get him in some dynamic poses. And uh, the sunglasses, it just adds a, a lot of style. Um, so I'm gonna get him in a pose or two for you. And I noticed a lot of the times, you know, the, the, the ammo, the guns, their weapons are difficult to put in their hands. So I know, I thought it would, just to share it with you, very, it could be helpful, but I usually, take off, if I can get his hand off. I usually unpeg, unpeg his hand from his body. So when I'm putting a weapon in, his body isn't all flopping all over the place. And it just makes it a little bit more simple or to uh, get it, get the, get his hand on the trigger. But you know, uh, I'll pry his hand open a little bit because the plastic is it's usually pliable. You just gotta kind of work fast, you know. You pull out the finger a little bit, put it in there. Get his hand to go on there if I can. I, I tell you, I feel like it's it's easier. You just have to have a little bit of patience. So you generally you get it to go. Let's see. Okay. So let's see. Let me get this off the camera. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, just trying to be get it on there. See, yeah, off camera, I got it. And you know, just just push it on there. Let's see. There we go. There we go. See, now I got his hand on a trigger, and now I'll take it, and then I'll plug it, plug it back in. Then, then you can pose him the way you want to, you know, then I'll take his gun. Yeah, Roblox, he's really cool. He's a really cool action figure to have in your collection. He, he's just, you don't want to catch, catch him in a dark alley uh, by yourself. He's going to put it on you. But you know, I think he I think he's a cool character. I really do. A uh, Roblox, he, you know, he 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 brings it. He brings it. And you know, uh, 
I know, again, I know the GI Joe are really hard to find, and you know if you ever run across them, pick it up, or you see them on, uh, on on Amazon or on a website at a good price, pick them up because it, it just adds character uh, to your to your, uh, your to your your collection, or if you have them displayed. I have all my GI Joes already out the box and displayed. You know, I I sometimes I I have some in box and then I have a lot of my toys out of box because I use them for display purposes all throughout my house you know but yeah that's uh that's Roblox uh, from the from the GI Joe classified series wave uh, I don't want to uh, draw this out I just want to mention that uh, last month it was a pretty good good month you know and I, I'm thankful for the support I, I got you know, during uh, Black History Month, you know, I just wanted to recognize, uh, acknowledge, you know, that those people that uh, make a difference and set good examples. Um, you know, it's important. You know, we, we, us as as adults, and, and you know, we want to have the treat people like how we want to be treated. And and then again, too, our kids. We we want to set good examples for our kids. We know that. They're watching and listening, and us and as adults, it's up to us to, you know, live the, by those good standards and always, always to have a, a good outlook on, on things and, and try to relay those messages positively through our through our youth because you know, once we're gone, we're, we they it's their it's their place to to step up and to you know do what what they need what needs to be done and, and I'm again I, I'm just I'm just thankful for that I really am and um, if you guys like my video and subscribe so you can be first to see any of my um, content you know. again you know I'm thankful I have this opportunity to to, to share uh, my collection if you guys uh, want to see something different or feel like I, uh, you know, need to switch it up, feel free to, to let me know. Uh, uh, you know uh, I'm open for suggestions and also ideas. But, uh, I just want to say uh, thanks for tuning in to my channel and subscribe and I'll walk with you guys later. Bye.